Oh, yeah! We go to Roman Reigns' locker room, and Sammy is wanting to talk to the head of the table. Sammy sits down and mentions Roman being frosty earlier, and Reigns tells him to cut to the chase because he's seen how he reacted last week when the Usos decided to get involved in Sammy and Kevin Owens' match. Sammy admits he was pretty disappointed. He took a lot of pride being sent on a mission by the tribal chief. He didn't know that the Usos were going to attack and show up. He didn't know what the game plan was. And then he mentions Kevin Owens telling him he thinks he's going, he's being used. And that's when Roman stops him and tells him to get out. He doesn't want to hear it. Why does the tribal chief have to run his game plan by the honorary Us? And he tells him to get out and maybe go find KO and get his own bloodline. What do you think, Rob? Again, I bring this up week in and week out. This is a atypical, abusive head of the table, abusive husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, whatever, that is in complete control of another human being. And when that other human being brings up valid points, which Sammy did, just like, hey, I was in the match, so if that was the plan, like, why didn't you, like, fill me in? So I kind of knew. He didn't say he was mad about it. He just wanted to be filled in. And Roman just immediately, just angrily, why do I have to tell you? I'm head of the table. I'm above you. Why do I have to tell you? And it's just more of instilling fear and ma- trying to manipulate Sammy. And the more this happens and the more the weeks go by, you can just see the disappointment in Sammy's face as he's getting in these in the eyes of, you know, our viewers abused by his tribal chief and his leader. 